29 calls up and goes, Dad, let me ask you a question. Do Jews celebrate Easter? <laughs> no. We celebrate the day after Easter when candy goes on sale for 50% off. <laughs> And it will be hilarious. <laughs> so I drive all over the country, like I said. Uh, drive all over the country. I uh, stopped in the state of Indiana. Anybody ever stop in that state? Yep. You did? What, what were we doing in Indiana, sir? Uh, fishing. Fishing? We got shit around here to go fucking fishing. <laughs> got a redneck. Excellent. Good for you. <laughs> what, what do you think of Indiana? It's kind of boring. I'll tell you what, it's no Poughkeepsie, is it, sir? It really isn't. I'm sorry, for entertainment dollars concerned. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Indiana, they don't even have, like, oceans and shit. What are you fishing for? Oh, there's a puddle. I'm going to get me a minnow. That's weird, sir. Here's the thing about Indiana. Indiana is the most racist state in the country because they have the most KKK out of any state in the country. Not Mississippi, not Alabama, not Louisiana, not Poughkeepsie on a Saturday night when shit gets out of hand. <laughs> but here's the thing about Indiana, there's some nice people there, I'm sure. There's also some ignorant people, and there's also, also a lot of racist douchebags. I don't know what I encountered, but I encountered something. I'm working at this, wow. <laughs> She's like fucking laughing medieval on that shit. Get the white sheet, asshole, let's go. We got some, we're gonna dance after the show. <laughs> Have you been to Indiana? Are you from Indiana? No. Have you been there? No. No. Just mock those that vacation there, do you, sir? <laughs> There's some good fishing in Indiana. <laughs> I got me an Indiana bass. <laughs> I had to go to Pathmark to get that shit. I got it. <laughs> I'm working at this comedy club for a week. I've been talking to this waitress the whole week. Halfway through the week, she goes, you know, Dad, I never met a Jew before. What are Jews like? I thought we were just like you, except we bleed green and eat your babies. <laughs> and we have really big penises. <laughs> Alright, the last part was a lie, but the other shit completely true. <laughs> At the end of the week, I've been hanging out with my buddy. He's another comic. He's a six foot five, 350 pound redneck from South Carolina. We're very good friends. He considers himself Jewish by proxy. That's how good friends we are. At the end of the week, we go to the Sam's Club to buy a cake for the staff of the club because they've been so nice to us. So we're at, the, we're at the Sam's Club and my buddy's talking to the baker and he doesn't realize there's two guys standing behind us, but he's talking to the baker, hey, I got my Sam's card. I want to make sure I get my discount because I got my card, make sure I get my discount. One guy goes to the other guy, goes, look at him, trying to Jew him down. My buddy whips around, hey, we're two Jews. I'm a redneck Jew and I'll kick your ass. And he's a city Jew. And I go, I'll sue your ass. <laughs> And then we went fishing, and it was all good. <laughs> My people, the Jewish people, we get the short end of the stick when it comes to last names. Irish get O'Connell, proud sign of name. Italians get Andretti, fast sign of name. Spanish get Lopez, strong sign of name. The Jews, what do the Jews get? We get Lipschitz. <laughs> you folks know I go to Newburgh. I introduce myself as Moish Lipschitz. You know I'll get my ass kicked. <laughs> Go to the village, introduce myself as Gaylord Lipschitz. I'm getting me a date. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I'm doing that joke. I stand right where you're sitting, sir. Goes to me like this. He goes, hey, man, if you're Lipschitz, what's your ass do? <laughs> I said, well, it's when I'm Taco Bell whistles. <laughs> Two fingers. <laughs> I like Taco Bell, because for 99 cents, I get dinner and a half hour later a show. And that's a full friggin' night right there. <laughs> I have to warn you folks, if you get the Taco Bell, do not go for a long car ride. That will not fit in a Snapple bottle. That is no longer raspberry iced tea. That is a crapple bottle. There's 150 white people and five black people. Most of the white people are like, oh shit, don't laugh. The black guys are going to kick all of our asses. They have superpowers. Wonder Brothers, activate! I'll be for a baseball bat, and I'll be 45! Nobody wants to piss off the black guys, they're gonna kick our ass! Nobody's ever afraid of pissing me off. You never hear this, don't piss off the little Jew. Don't piss off the little Jew. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do our taxes! Our basic man, I better like I said, I'm Jewish, Jewish, black people get along, we have things in common. Like for instance, when things start going wrong, black people, Jewish people will get together and go, ooh. 
Shit. We better get out of town. They're gonna start blaming us for this mess. But black people have an advantage over Jewish people. Black people are cool. Jews are not cool. I'm the coolest one we got. I know! Black people set trends. Jews don't set trends. We set interest rates. Black people said all the cool trends, the clothing trends, the baggy jeans, the jerseys, the do-rags. When was the last time you said, yo, I just want to wear my beanie off to the side. What a biatch. <laughs> Black people said all the hair trends, the shaved head, the cornrows, the dreads. White people, you had your shot. You came up with the bullet. <laughs> Look what happens when you have a redneck making your decisions for you. Jews, we're no better than everybody go, yo, I just want to grow up my sideburns and be long and curl them. <laughs> Ever hear a chick go, oh, I just want to grab by the long cartoon? Oh, not long. Who's your rabbi? Who's your rabbi? <laughs> the ladies like that. Yeah, we will play rabbi in this shit, so yes, we will. We will I will make you ladies my goy toy. <laughs> this is some bullshit. The show wasn't supposed to go this way. <laughs> Usually I do a Christian show, which is ironic because I'm Jewish. <laughs> Never ever seen Jews before? <laughs> Look at her, sure, sure, Jace went off the yard last week. <laughs> I play places where they haven't seen Jews before. I was down in Alabama. I know, but you can't play Boyer Town every week. <laughs> down in Alabama, at the stage. Guys sit right where you sit, so start checking me out, start looking for the horn and the damn. I got pissed off. Like, hey man, have you ever seen a Jew before? Guy gets on the Of course I've seen a Jew before. <laughs> Once. <laughs> on the History Channel. <laughs> I'm like, what's your problem, man? Do you like Jews? Of course I like Jews. I like apple juice. <laughs> Orange juice. <laughs> Hell, my favorite movie, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I was retelling really that story a little while ago in Delaware. People from Alabama at the show, like, Woo! Alabama in the house! Woo! Like, yeah, the house is parked right outside. Hey, <laughs> yeah, you're laughing, they're running after me, I'm running, throwing nails, hoping the house gets a flat side. <laughs> Anybody else Jewish here? Nobody else Jewish here? You know, fuck, fucking three of you people are gonna come up to me after the show, you go, oh, no, I'm Jewish, I just didn't want to say anything. <laughs> we were gonna let the black people take the heat, if you don't mind. Seems the thing, I, uh, you know, I don't really consider myself an Orthodox Jew, I consider myself more of a freestyle Jew. <laughs> freestyle, you know this, I pop a tequila, pop a tequila. <laughs> but I grew up in a very uh, religious Jewish uh, household, and what you need to know about um, very religious Jews is they're very worried about what their neighbors think. So at the, when they're at home, they're very strict with their dietary laws, they won't mix the milk with the meat, they won't have shellfish. Yeah, when Jews go on vacation, they're going to have the ham and cheese sandwich. Wash it down with a glass of milk, which once again proves that the key to Judaism is location, location, location. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you guys are weird, man. You're not the weirdest crowd I ever played in front of. I played in front of Jewish bikers. Jewish bikers. They're just like regular bikers, except they can't ride hogs. 